is a very closely watched meeting, and this outside team of advisors to the FDA are not even discussing specific vaccine candidates. They're really just assessing uh, all of the information they're going to need to be able to make recommendations to the FDA when the time comes. So this outside meeting of advisors has started at 10 a.m. It's going to run all the way through the day until 6.30. And essentially, they're going to be discussing what the path looks like to potentially authorizing or approving a COVID-19 vaccine. They'll also discuss what kind of post-marketing studies will be necessary to continue to assess the safety of the vaccine, uh, as well as listening to public input this afternoon and discussing what they hear uh, as well. Now, this is, of course, a unique situation. We're in a pandemic, and they're talking about an emergency use authorization uh, for potential vaccines. Dr. Luciana Borio, former acting chief scientist at the FDA, explained why this kind of meeting is important and what they'll be discussing yesterday. The EUA authorities have really never been used, uh, with very few exceptions, for vaccines. And as we know from uh, working public health emergencies and you know exploring the use of novel authorities, there are always issues that surface that were not really um, you know considered uh, in time because they're difficult to predict. And guys, of course, we are expecting potential data on efficacy from Pfizer within the, just the next few weeks. And we also just learned from Moderna minutes ago, they have reached full enrollment of their phase three trial at 30,000 people. And they say they'll decide uh, after they have two months safety follow up on half the people whether to file for emergency use authorization, probably at the end of November. Sarah? Meg Terrell, unusual also because less than two weeks to go before the election. Keep us posted. Thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.